Pisces, come on in, put your feet up, make yourself at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Pisces, this is your karmic relationship reading. Ooh. Now I want to use this deck. Usually that happens when the deck doesn't want to be used, but I haven't used this for ages, so I'm going to freaking use it. Deal with it. All right, Pisces. A Pisces person gave me these cards, so I'm going to read it with the cards given to me by Pisces. Very mindful of these are general readings, which don't resonate with all you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to come to me via that link below. That's the only way to get a reading with me. If I'm like down there, in the comments below saying, hey, this is my WhatsApp. Yeah, no, that's not me. Some fool trying to fool you. So don't fall for it, my loves, because you ain't no fool, I know. Unless you want to win a reading. Do you want to win a reading? Take a look in the description box below. There's a chance to win a free reading with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, Pisces, let's ask about this karmic relationship you're in. <sighs> Bit off more than you could chew, perhaps? This deck's insane, absolutely insane. <laughs> Let's just check out the uh, the uh, page of cups here. Bathing in titty milk or whatever it is. I don't know. It's not like a sword, it's like, ha, let's go. Anyway, so the overall vibe here is the three of pentacles. Uh, okay. Something about this relationship. Yeah. It has kind of worked for a while there. You were a team. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. When did it turn a around from being a team and it being more about money and there's something you didn't see coming see this black clouds around something you didn't see coming and the there's two sets of eyes and they're both got no pupils Something you didn't see coming. It's like... It's like you think you know somebody. And then it turns out you have no idea who this person is. I mean, I was with my ex-husband for nine years. We weren't married for nine years, but we were together for nine years. And uh, at the end of that, I realised I didn't know this person at all. He was none the wiser either. Not about me, but about himself. Tell me more about this. So it's a lot about being blind to who somebody is. Now there's this just sort of this feeling like you have to protect yourself from this person. I 
maybe they want to protect themselves from you you know i definitely get the feeling you want to but uh you need to <sighs> but there's this this feeling like there's a lot of anger coming from both of you now bad hate words you're angry throwing words at each other words that cut words that hurt why is temperance in reverse here for what you need to know right now things aren't very balanced between you at all something i get about the home uh, environment is uh I just, I, I feel like you guys are saying a lot of unkind words to each other. Um, digs, getting little digs at each other about things um, that have happened over the years that you've been together. Like uh, 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 moments that are just like, oh, why do you need to bring that up now? Like... Oh, this cool thing's happened. Well, you know, it could have happened sooner if this hadn't happened. You know, things like that. There's still a lot that, that is to be revealed here. I, I, I kind of feel like... Maybe you guys just don't actually really know each other that well. You guys should have split up a long time ago. Like, why, why are you still together? I don't get it. Money? There's, there's sort of a feeling you're still able to have a sort of intimacy between you even though you can't hate each other <laughs> like, this is not a great relationship you're still sort of I don't know it, it works out works out some of the kinks some of the aggression gets it out of the way yeah this person's standing in your way of happiness and you I don't know you fire angry words at them they fire angry words at you bitter there's a lot of bitterness You guys are always watching each other as well, like looking at your messages, your emails, checking up on each other, watching what you're doing. Let me know in the comments below how that looks for you. Is that is that something that's going on? It, it really looks like it. I f even feel like they've perhaps watched you when you've gone out. They've followed you see where you go what do they get out of that I don't even think like you were up to something bad they kind of messed, messed themselves up there because they had other stuff to do <laughs> they followed you it looks like they followed you, but then they messed up their own. They was they 
had something important to do that day and they messed it up for themselves because they were too busy thinking about what you were doing. You know, like saying, cutting your nose off to spite your face. They wanted to have something over you, have something on you, and, and then <laughs> they don't get nothing on you and messing themselves up. Why is the uh, Knave of Cups, that's the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? This is not. I don't know. I, I just the chariot here. Look, the house is on fire, and he's just staying in there. You could move forwards, or you could stay in the burning house. Let the house burn around you, take you down with it, or you could move forwards. This is an unhappy karmic relationship. This is not, you know, best you can hope for the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is not what you were wishing for when you guys got together. You know, it's, it's turned into something completely the opposite of what you wanted. Tell me more. Your stability will come when you leave this person. You, this person isn't offering you any of that. Your stability, yours, will come. Look, the titty tree there, all you know, stable and she's happy. Tree's on fire, but the fire's going out. What are you confused about? I don't understand. Why why are you uh, letting this go on? What's what's the problem? There's no happiness in this relationship. Why are you still there? What's the confusion? You can't You how do I put this? It's like you need to sort of know where you're going before you leave is that that's because this is you three of wands in reverse you kind of need to have a direction before you go so you're not you know wildly stabbing in the dark i get that you don't want to make any mistakes you don't want to make some of the same mistakes there's obstacles in the way to you leaving, but you're so unhappy that are the obstacles really that bad? It just looks like it's time to bust on out. Charge. Bust through the flames. Horses wearing a blindfold. It doesn't know where it's going, but it's going for it. I don't see any reason why you should be staying in this relationship. The outcome here, we've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. Well, that's the end of heartbreak and, and deception and lies moving forwards. Things getting easier. A marriage that's finished, over. It doesn't mean that you're necessarily married, but uh, a relationship. You got three tens in reverse uh, that suggest the end of a relationship. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Ten of wands in reverse. Things getting easier because of the end of. I won't pick it up. The end of a relationship. So I don't know. There's no reason for you to be holding on to this. I'm going to take it to the extent in a minute where I'm going to ask where are you in this person's heart space, how they feel about you, are their intentions towards you, and uh, what I want to say to you, some guidance from the universe. was just a little bit of guidance for you. Hold on.
it's the same. My mom has there aren't pockets and shrouds. So if it's money that's keeping you there, it's not going to keep you happy. Can't take it with you when you die. Yeah, no, I don't want those. Let's pull you an oracle card. Don't let pride get in your way. You take that how it resonates. You staying because of pride? What kind of pride? And your love lyric. It can't be love if you throw it about. Love bites for Def Leppard. I get the feeling this person is seeing someone else. And that just kind of confirmed it to me. I'm going to take it and say extended. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to win a free reading, take a look at the description box below or uh, watch the extended. It's down there too. Have a look for my Patreon. You'll find the link there. Bye.